I guess we'll just try to blow ourselves up with it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that's, that's all it took. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kean, and welcome back to the dreams of Hello Neighbor, also known as Suicide Guy. We have been having a ton of fun with this game, and there are plenty of more puzzles to explore, so it looks like we are on level 12, and is that a bathtub? That appears to be a bathtub. All right, let's check this out. Probably some kind of bathroom-based puzzle. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in a bathroom. Uh, okay, we've got a bathtub here, and we can, can we, we can turn on the water? Can we? Is there anything coming out of there? There's, there's no water coming out of there. Okay, uh, we got some, some shampoo. Oh, rubber ducky. There's my rubber ducky. There he is. We got a toilet. Uh, we can flush the toilet. That's, that's super exciting. Uh, can we leave the room? No, we can't leave the room. Uh, we can turn on the sink over here. It, it seems like the water is off. Like, the water's not working in this room, so... What are we supposed to do to get the water working again? Let's see if there's anything else we can interact with. Obviously, we can interact with the radio, but that's not going to do us any good. Oh, there's that beautiful belly of Sloppy Joe. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I wonder maybe if we, we get in here. That's That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Can I? No? We can kind of take a peek outside. That doesn't look like there's anything really out there, though. It's like we're in some kind of like camping ground or something. I don't know. That that doesn't really make sense, but that's okay. Um, hmm. Oh, we can leave. We can just walk into the door. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we have the entire house to explore here. So I'm wondering if we need to get the water turned back on inside of the house to do something with the bathroom. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, there's a ball that we can we can take. So yeah, that's cool. Not sure what to do with this, but I'm gonna take it with me and let's go downstairs. And see if anything is going on down there. I'm just going to drop the ball over here because it's kind of in the way. It's hard to see things. Uh, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of chairs here. We just plow through the chairs. Looks like someone was enjoying some pizza. Yeah, basically everything that has water associated with it is interactable, but no water comes out. So it is safe to assume that we need to get the water back on in the house. There's a statue. Let's grab that. Yeah, thumbs up, Sloppy Joe. Oh, we got a little little Game Boy here. Yeah, let's do this. Play some some Tetris. Oh, I used to love my Game Boy. My favorite game on the Game Boy was probably Super Mario Land. If you've ever played it, that's a high quality game right there. Okay, it looks like we have a locked door here. So we're probably looking for some kind of key to open that door. Uh, have we been in here yet? I don't think so. Okay, so here's the garage. Oh my gosh, we have a chainsaw. Yes, turn on. It's not turning on. Is it out of gas or something? I, I don't know, but uh, that seems like an effective way to get yourself killed. Playing around with chainsaws. We got a computer over here. Can't interact with that. We also have a wrench. What are we going to do with a wrench? This might come in handy too, but I'm not sure where. Uh, let's get out of here. What? Okay, thank you. Anything on the TV? No, nothing on the TV. Check this out. We got a original Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System right there. Check out that bad boy. Purple, huh? Okay, yeah, I, I like the purple decal, uh, but we're still looking for an actual key. Like, where is this key, and what are we supposed to do with all these items that we found up to this point? Are there any rooms that we've possibly missed here? I'm not seeing anything. Is, can I open this? Can I interact with anything in the kitchen here besides the sink? Doesn't look like it. You know, we probably need to go back into the garage because I'm thinking that the garage has something to do with the water in here, right? Like, normally you have, like, a water heater in your garage. I don't see anything like that, though. Huh. Let's grab the chainsaw. Not sure what we're gonna do with it, but let's take it with us. I'm just gonna set it down over there. Let's go back upstairs and do some more exploration up there. Maybe we missed something. I don't think there's anything in the bathroom that we started in, but maybe there's something in here that we just kind of overlooked. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in this bedroom. There's a boarded off room that leads to, like, nothing over there. Where do we go next? This this is a tricky puzzle here. I'm a little lost. I wish we could get this chainsaw going. Probably get rid of all these boards that are boarding up the house. Can we use it on the key? 
Let's get rid of that. Is this the actual key? No, that's not the key. That's not working at all. Maybe if we take the wrench over to like one of these things, I don't know, do some plumbing. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, the key, where did that come from? Was it under the rug? I don't even, I didn't even see where it came from. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage because I have no idea where this key came from, but I'm glad we found it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the basement has some problems here. Uh, definitely got some serious flooding issues. So let's grab our wrench here and see if this can fix our problems. Let's tighten this bad boy up. Is that gonna work? Yeah, all right. Keep up. Yeah, all right, fix that leak. We just got one over here, and this should get the water situation working again. And then I wonder if we just need to turn on all the water in the house to flood the house. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, I think that fixed the water issue. So now if we go over to the sink, uh, I can put this wrench down. Uh, can we turn this on now? Yes, we're actually getting water. Okay, so now if we go upstairs, where's the staircase? There it is. If we go upstairs and we turn on the bathtub, does anything new and interesting happen? Okay, bathtub's getting filled up. Okay, and we turn on the sink and that's getting filled up. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do at this point. We can flush the toilet. But what does that do? That does nothing. We can get in the bathtub. Hmm. Probably wouldn't hurt to take a bath. I'm sure Sloppy Joe hasn't seen a shower for weeks. Okay, so we got the water situation fixed in the house. But what are we actually supposed to do at this point? You think maybe we can take the TV? Can we pick up the TV? We can't pick up the TV. I was thinking maybe we could electrocute ourselves in the bathtub by taking the TV into the bathtub, but... Uh, you can't actually pick up the TV. Is there something else that we're missing here? It's hard to say. There's nothing in the basement, is there? Can we pick up these barrels? No, can't pick up those barrels. Maybe we can plug up the bathtub using this ball? I, oh, maybe we use the ball to plug up all the things. Like, if we put this here... No, that's not doing anything. Okay, let's try putting it in the bathtub. Does that do anything? Maybe if I put it on top of the... The little hole here. I don't think that's doing anything. Didn't seem to do the trick. And also, why can we interact with the toilet? Like, does the toilet actually do anything? The toilet doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe I should turn this off. Oh, I can't turn it off. Okay, now that it's on, it's on forever. Can I turn this off? Nope, can't turn anything off. Okay, <laughs> this is a tricky one. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Where's my chainsaw? Where did my chainsaw go? There's gotta be something that we can do with the chainsaw. Or, ooh, actually, the Game Boy. I wonder if there's anything that we could do with this? Maybe we can electrocute ourselves? I don't know. Maybe, let's, let's try. Let's get in there and uh, drop that guy and turn it on. No, that's not doing anything. That was a terrible idea. Now I just have a ruined Game Boy. Put it in the sink. There, there you go. Perfect spot for a Game Boy. Okay, where, where did my chainsaw go? Let's grab the chainsaw and try to figure out if there's something that we can do with this. I don't know. The TV makes a really uncomfortable zappy noise when you try to turn it on, but there's nothing else that you can really do with it. So I don't know if that's the key to our success here. Maybe we can use this to take down this. Oh, what the heck? Um, okay. Apparently we can knock out doors using the chainsaw. I was not expecting that. Are there other doors that we can, we can knock out here? Can we do like, no, that didn't do anything. Okay, wait a second. Can we take the nails off using the wrench? Maybe, we can try. I feel like the chainsaw should do a pretty good job of getting rid of this, these boards here, but it's not. Uh, let's, let's try this. No, that's not doing anything. Okay, this is very, very strange. There's nothing in that room, is there? So we're probably not even supposed to get into that room. Okay, I am, I am incredibly confused now. Just absolutely flabbergasted. What are we supposed to do? I just don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, why would this thing open but not allow us in? That's messed up. Okay, let, you know what? Let's take this thing into the bathtub. It's a very dangerous thing to take a chainsaw into a bathtub, but apparently it doesn't really matter because it doesn't really do anything. I mean, I guess we could try the the radio. I mean, this, this seems like a dumb idea. Oh. Are you serious? It was the radio. Okay, that's kind of messed up because up until this point, the radio has just been for music. 
that's all it's done. We tried to use it to push down the, the, the pressure plate in the Indiana Jones level, and it didn't work. So I was taught by the game to not use the radio for things, and in that level, you had to actually use the radio. Are you kidding me? Okay, enough ranting. I got it out of my system. At least we figured it out. So now we can move on to the next stage, and what is this going to be? A forklift? Okay, let's... Let's go for it. All right, looks like we're in some kind of a warehouse of sorts. I don't know, actually. Um, this looks like a big old pressure plate for squishing things. So I'm wondering if it needs to squish us. Uh, let's try, okay, yep, that gets us lifted up here. And then we've got a box. Can we push this box? Yes, we can. So let's push it onto, can we push it onto this platform? Or can we just push it off of the ledge? Let's do that. I still don't know what we're supposed to do with this box, but I figure since it's there, you might as well grab it. All right, this is interesting. We've got a forklift over here. Can we drive said forklift? Let's try to get in. Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, can we turn it? Yes, we can. Okay, we have a lot of options here to use this guy. And then this, I assume, activates the thing on the front. Okay, yes, it does. All right, cool. Not sure what we're going to do with that, but it's cool. We've got a door over here. Can we go inside of this door? No, this door is locked. Okay, just trying to get a lay of the land here, trying to figure things out. So we have a forklift that we can drive. We have a box right over here that we can climb on, I guess. And we have a locked door over there. We also have a box up here. So I'm wondering if we need to get that box and then do something with it. But I don't know what that something is. There's also a very big red button over there. And this is a very tall ledge. So... How are we gonna go about this? I guess we probably need to get that box off of this ledge. At least I'm assuming you do. Uh, maybe, maybe what we need to do... Actually, can we climb this? We can climb this. Can we get up this? You think we could make that jump? Huh! No. Even Sloppy Joe can't make that jump. That's too much. But now, what if we push this block onto the forklift? I don't know. I don't know what that is going to accomplish, but I'm gonna go for it. So if I take this, okay, so I can push it onto the forklift. That's good. Will it lift? Let's see. Yes, it will. Okay, so now we have something going here. I'm not sure how we're supposed to use this, but at least we know. Maybe, actually, I wonder if we take this, get, get over here, and we drive this guy over here. Oh man, we lost the box. I'm thinking that maybe if we drive this guy over here next to these pipes and then we use this to kind of get ourselves up to that platform, maybe that'll give us the access that we need. Let's try that. So let's put this guy right here. Try to get this thing in place. Just like that. All right, good. Nope. Oh, let, let go. No, you, you got to let go, Joe. Joe, please cooperate. Okay. Is that good? It's good. Good. All right. Grab this, get on here, lift that thing, and I don't know if that's gonna work. That still seems way too high for Joe to get up to. Maybe we can do some kind of like staircase type thing. So I wonder if we can climb on top of the forklift. So let's drop this down, get out of here, and move this guy over like that, and then relift the, uh, the forklift like that, and then get out again. And then use this to try and get on top of the forklift. Maybe we can do that. Come on. Ah, aha. Okay. Now we're on to something. And then I assume we need to get this thing pushed off of this ledge, right? Is there something in my way? No? Okay. All right. I don't know if that's a button right there, but we got this box off of this ledge. So now what are we supposed to do? I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. Okay. I wonder if we can do kind of like a staircase type thing at this point. So. Maybe we'll try kind of the same method. So let's get the forklift going over here. And I want to try and get up to the top of this because I feel like that's our end goal. So I'm going to just get this guy lined up like this, possibly. Just up against this. Come on, come on, work with me. Maybe that's good enough? No, I need to turn. But like that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, get out of here. And can we lower this while we're not in the forklift? We can. Can we lower it and open it while we're in front. Okay, all right, now we're on to something here. I think we can make this work. In fact, I might actually be overthinking this. If we put the box on top of here, and we just go like that, and then climb on top of this, come on, climb on top, and then we just press this button, 
Oh gosh. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. Also, the forklift is really far away. Like, I couldn't make that jump regardless. So you know what? Let's get back into the forklift and let's try to get this thing a little bit closer. Like that, probably. And let's just try this again. Maybe we don't need that other box. I don't know. Let's let's just try it this way. Get up here. Yeah, no, come on, Joe. You can do it. Alright, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh! Okay, I fell off, but I feel like we're onto something here. Or maybe, just maybe I use this box to get on top of that box once it's already lifted? Let's try that. Put this guy right here. Try to get these guys lined up again. These boxes are a little bit finicky. Okay, and then stand on this one and then lift this one. Yeah, lift this one, like that, and then get up here, and then can I... No, that's too high. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. Let's just try this again. Cause it seems like the box stayed in place that time. So, so come on, just stay, Joe, Joe, don't fall. Oh, oh, is this high enough? I think this is high enough. Is that really how you're supposed to do it? We didn't even use the second box. Okay, can we? Okay, we need to figure out how to press this button from down there. That's where we need to get squished. Oh, oh, we can pick it up. We can <laughs> I keep overthinking these puzzles. All you have to do is pick it up. Can we just, can we just press it? That's it, splat. We're done, finished. That was beautiful. All right, that was actually way easier than I made it out in my head. I keep doing that. I keep overthinking these puzzles. I really just need to keep it nice and simple and I'll get through these a lot faster. All right, looks like we've got one of these like giant magnet machines. Are we gonna be in like a junkyard? That's what I associate those things with. Yeah, this looks like a junkyard. Okay, seems like there's a lot of effective ways to get yourself killed in a level like this. So we just need to figure out how to do that. There's a big red button and I love pressing big red buttons. So let's try that. What's that do? Okay, yeah, that seems like the way that you die on this level. So we probably need to get ourselves squished in that thing. Uh, so we need to figure out how to get inside of there. Now, is there an easy way to get inside of there? It looks like there's a ladder of some sort. There's also a big red X here. I'm not sure what that's for. We got an old beat up VW bug here. Nice, like it. Can we drive it? We can, <laughs> okay. Maybe we put this on the red X? I don't know, and try that. And then can we get inside of this guy? I wonder if we can control this guy. It looks like we can, okay. Um, so, so we just, we just, uh, turn it? Can we, what, how does this work? Oh, okay, okay, we're driving it. Okay, so, yeah, okay, now can I press this button and will that pick up? Okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this thing, though. Can I extend it out further? It doesn't look like I can actually extend it out. Okay, so maybe what I need to do is just figure out a way to deactivate the magnet from a distance and drop the bug on top of me? I don't know. Maybe that's just a distraction from the actual way to finish this level. Let's explore the junkyard a little bit more. See if there's anything that we're possibly missing because this is a pretty big level. I feel like they kind of do this thing where they distract you by all these different things on the level, but the actual solution to the level is actually like right in front of you and super easy. Also, I think that we missed the statue on the last level, so we didn't get the statue. I don't think we saw it. Maybe it was in that locked room, but at least we found the statue on this level. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. There's also, it looks like there's a little hut over here. I wonder if there's anything inside of this hut. Can we get inside of it? Doesn't look like this hut is open. Okay, we can't get inside of there. Okay, so we do need to figure out what is going on with this thing and then that thing as well. Can we move this thing around? That, that's, can we just, can we just drive this thing like a normal vehicle? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like I'm actually moving. I can only move left to right. So I don't know how much good that's actually gonna do me because I can't extend the arm out to where the trash compactor is unless I can move the trash compactor. I don't know, what happens when we press this? It's gonna drop the bug? Yeah, it drops the bug but that doesn't really do us much good either. I gotta say, these puzzles are getting a little bit trickier every single level. I'm having a hard time figuring out what exactly we're supposed to do on this stage. I don't think I explored over here, but I'm not expecting anything to be over here. Just garbage, yeah, yeah, just more garbage. Okay, fantastic. 
Let's go to the very top of this, uh, magic trash mountain, see if there's anything- Oh. Oh. Oh, a red X. X marks the spot. Maybe we drop the bug on top of that red X? You know what? Let's give that a shot. Let's go ahead and get this thing reattached. And let's see if this does anything. Let's get inside. Come on. Click. Okay, there we go. And then get this guy reactivated. And then let's scoot on over here. And let's drop this on top of this trash pile and see if anything happens. It doesn't look like anything happened. It's very disappointing. Let's just go up there and see if there's anything worth our time up there. I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very confused. We got it pretty much on the red X. Um, but there's, there's nothing that we can really do here. Unless we're supposed to drive it off of the side of this thing. Maybe? No, that didn't do anything. Let's try putting the bug back up on top of that trash pile. Let's get out of this thing. Let's get this thing reconnected and back on top of the trash. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's a jump, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't see that before. Look at this. Yeah, this is like the perfect ramp. Look at that. So you go down, and then we can launch ourselves into the trash compactor, and then get ourselves squished. But I think what we need to do is turn on the trash compactor, then run up the, the trash pile, get in the VW, launch down, and then land in the trash compactor. That's what we need to do. Okay, I've got this. Let's go for it. Let's get ourselves nice and squished. So let's get it properly situated here. Try to... Right, back up a little bit there, and then like that. That should be pretty good. I think that we're pretty much set there. Okay, so let's get out of here, and then let's activate the trash compactor, and then we're gonna get ourselves super, super squished. Let's go. Hit that. All right, run back up to the top of the trash mountain. Come on. You can do it, Joe. Just get to the very top. Get in the VW. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Get in there. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't see where I'm going, but I think that did the trick. What? 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 Did I not do it fast enough? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's give this another shot. Man. Okay. We've got the bug resituated here. So, let's go run back down, turn on the trash compactor, and try to get up there even faster than we did last time. I felt like I pretty much did it as fast as I could, but we're going to give it another shot here. All right, let's go. Get up here, get up these tires. Okay, nicely done. I think that was a little bit faster than last time. Get in the VW. Yes, get in, get in. Go, 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 go. Come on, buddy. No, we didn't make it again. Okay, you know what they say, third time is a charm. So we're gonna pull it off this time, definitely. I guarantee it. Okay, the moment of truth. Let us click the button and run up the trash mountain and get in the VW bug and launch ourselves into the trash compactor. I feel like this is the one. Like I said, third time's a charm. Let's go, get in there. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. If this doesn't work, I'm doing something wrong. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. I'm definitely doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Okay, I think we have to rethink our strategy here. We're on to something, but I think we're doing it wrong. I think what we probably need to do, because the, the bug just doesn't fit in there, maybe we need to jump up there and just use the bug to get ourselves up there and then drop into the trash compactor. So we're gonna try that. I mean, it seems like a lot of steps and very complicated, but I'm gonna give it a shot and hope that that's the way to do it, because otherwise, I'm, I'm stumped. I'm totally stumped. So here we go, press the red button, run up the trash mountain, come on buddy, just get up there as fast as you possibly can, and then we're gonna drive down the hill and not know exactly what we're aiming at because the camera gets super wonky when this happens, but that's okay, get up there, alright, and then get out, get out, get in, yes, 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 did we do it, squish me, take me to the next level, yes, <laughs> the trash compactor squished us, and we finally did it. Oh my goodness, that was tough. That was actually really, really hard. But we figured it out, and now we can move on to the next level, which seems to be a wizard hat. Okay, I like this. Oh man, okay, we're making some kind of deadly potion, it seems. Bad things are probably gonna happen. Cool, let's jump in. Can we just jump into the boiling pot of, of nasty potion? No, we cannot. Nope, that's not doing anything. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, what do we got here? Chicken, rabbit, rat, bone, book equals dead. Okay, so do we need to find all of those things? Let's see, can we go outside? 
No, we can't leave. Okay, we can't leave. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that. Let's see. Chicken! Yes! There you are, chicken. Come with me. All right, you're getting dropped into the magic potion. There you go. All right, making it ever so slightly deadlier. And then next on the recipe is a bunny. Also, we got some sweet jazz tunes going on, and it seems like when we add ingredients, it ramps it up a little bit. So now we need to find a little old bunny. I don't see anything over here. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a rat. Okay, but we're not ready for the rat. We want a bunny. Where would a bunny hide? Let's see. Can we climb this? No, we can't climb this. Can we get up here? Let's see if we can get up here. Nope, can't get up there. Okay, wait. Wait, what is this? Cheese? Okay, we can use that to probably lure out the, the little rat, but we're not there yet. We still need a bunny. Where's the bunny? Maybe in a hat? No? Can we sneak out the window here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, where is a bunny? I cannot find this bunny. Wait, is that a hatch? Still is not a secret hatch. Why is this not a secret hatch? This has to be a secret. Oh, oh, what? Oh, this thing moves. Okay, can I use this to get out? Maybe I can. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we've escaped from our prison and there is a giant bunny over there. Now we need to go kill it. Kill the bunny, kill the bunny. Where are you, bunny? Yes, come here, come here. Gotcha, yes, okay, we got a bunny. Is there anything else out here? There's scary wind sounds. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's take this bunny back to our potion and continue this deadly recipe. Oh, we also have a grave over here. That's nice. Okay, well, I'm not sure if that's gonna come into play later. Actually, we might need to get bone from there, possibly. So we might have to find a shovel to dig up that grave. I don't know. Let's get back inside. Let's drop this guy into our magic potion. There you go, little bunny. All right, perfect. Now it's getting nice and purple. Still won't kill us though. Uh, now we need the rat, and I think that we figured that out. We need to grab the cheese here, and then lure this guy out, and then just grab him? Is that it? Oh, I almost feel bad doing this. Look at how cute he is. Sorry, buddy. You gotta go in the potion. It's the only way. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, he has become one with the potion. Now we need the bone, and I think that we need to go over to the grave. So let's go back outside, and let's go over here and see if we can just like, exhume this grave with just by looking at it? I don't think we can. So hopefully there's a shovel around here somewhere. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. I really am winging it right now. Maybe over here. Oh, there's a statue. We'll definitely grab that. That's nice, okay. Um, but I'm still not seeing a way to get into that grave. So let's try and figure this out. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit more exploring of the outside area. My gosh, that waterfall is so loud. Oh, is that a shovel? That's a shovel. Yes, all right. So now we should be able to get to this grave and get ourselves some bone. All right, get this guy open. Yes, yes, okay. All right, can we grab, can we grab some bone here? Yes, all right. Now we're talking. Let's get back inside and make this deadly potion even deadlier. There we go. Oh my gosh, it is a terrible, terrible color, like a dark, dark purple. And I think the last ingredient is none other than the actual book that we're looking at. So let's go ahead and put that guy in there. Uh, maybe I need to close it. Can I close it? Okay, yes, I can close it. All right, drop it in there. There we go. Oh, that is looking dark and nasty. Let's figure out how to drink it. Can we just, can we just get inside of it? No, that's, that's not working. Can I, no, can't interact with it. Oh, maybe this thing. What? Oh, I did drink it. It just took a few seconds to, to actually uh, course through my veins and slowly kill me. Okay, we did it. Not too bad, not too bad. So that brings us to level 16 and it looks like it might be like some kind of circus. Let's go. Luna Park. Okay, so this is like a carnival type thing? Interesting. We need to get points in order to to get the guns to, I don't know. I don't actually know. Uh, maybe we can jump on top of this thing. Uh, that'll get us some points. That gave us one ticket. What are we gonna use this ticket for? Maybe at the game station? Can we play? Yes, please. I have one ticket, sir. Please, I'd like to play your game. Nope, that did not work. Maybe, maybe if I bring it over here. What about this thing? Punching bags. No, that's not doing anything either. This is a creepy level. I don't like it. Nobody's around. This is weird. Okay, we got another game station here. Let's let's try pressing this button. See if anything happens. Okay, we got some balls. So we gotta throw these guys at the ducks. Is that what we need to do? Huh! I missed. Try again. 
Her. Okay, I'm a terrible shot. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, could I miss any worse? Please. There, I got one. Wow. Wow. It's a new age. Can I get inside of there and just cheat? Can I pick- can I use these cones? <laughs> I can use the cones to knock down the ducks. Okay, I got two whole points and I have one more ticket. What am I supposed to do with these tickets? I have no idea. Maybe if I drop these tickets in this point thing over here, it gives me points? Let's try that. Yes, okay, each ticket is worth one point. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need a lot more points. All right, we got a whopping two points now. We only need 10,000 to get the rocket launcher. Can I just like keep jumping on this thing? I sure can. Okay, it's giving me a decent amount of tickets there. I hate that I have to walk each of these over to that place though. That kind of stinks. Let's see if there's other stuff that we can do before we get too carried away with the whole ticket thing. Oh, there is a statue over here. Let's grab this guy. Hoyah! All right, let's at least get like five tickets so that, or five points so that we can do whatever, get that slingshot, I guess. And maybe we can get more points with the slingshot, like taking out the ducks, for instance. That might be the way to do it. So let's go ahead and drop in one more ticket and then we should be able to unlock the slingshot. All right, that does the trick. Let's grab this guy. Cool, okay, so now maybe we should try this again and see if we can totally destroy the, the score here. Set this guy down, do that, and let's do this. Now we're talking. I'm still missing a lot. Can't help but notice I'm still missing a lot, but I'm doing my best. I'm just destroying the top score right now. Totally cheating the system. Maybe if I hit these top guys, since they're going so fast. 30? Yes? A hundred. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we take this guy over here and we get like a Tommy gun. That is awesome. Let's just drop that in there and that should unlock that. And now we can absolutely destroy the duck game. So let's give this a shot. Yeah. I think that we're, I think we're gonna do all right. I think our score is gonna do pretty good here. But let's see how high of a score we can get and hopefully it'll give us a ticket for 10,000 points. That would be totally awesome. That would make this whole process a heck of a lot easier. Oh my gosh, they're so, they're going so fast. <laughs> this is ridiculous. A 5,000 ticket. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We just need to do that one more time. Let's go for it. And then we get an RPG and I don't know what to do with the RPG. I have no idea what we're gonna do with the RPG. Maybe we can just blow ourselves up. All right, let's do it again. Hopefully we'll have another 5,000 ticket. Yes, all right, let's grab this. No, not that. I don't need your measly 100 tickets. I want your 5,000. Let's drop this guy in there. And that unlocks our rocket launcher. And um, I guess we'll just try to blow ourselves up with it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that's, that's all it took. Launch a rocket right at your feet. Problem solved. All right, guys. Well, we have managed to make it to level 17 in Suicide Guy, and I'm having a blast playing it. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. It looks like we're going to have something to do with a cow. Maybe we're going to the farm. I don't actually know, but that is going to do it for this episode of Suicide Guy. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. But that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.